Alright, this is a quick instructional video on how to program an IP address into a uh, LaserJet 4200, 4300, uh, uh, 4250, 4350 series laser printer. Uh, what we have here is we have an HP LaserJet 4200. Um, great machine, a uh, network machine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go in onto programming here uh, on the network card. Bring your printer to the ready state by turning it on, wait for it to go up, uh, come up. If you have any problems, address those first. And uh, we're going to go into menu. And we're going to go down to configure device. Hit the green button again. Keep scrolling down. You'll have all kinds of options. But we're going to go to I.O. From I.O you'll see an EIO. It'll be EIO 1 or EIO 2 depending on which port your card is in if you have an external card. Uh, either way it should say Jet Direct Menu. I'm going to click on that. First question it's going to ask you here is configure network. We're going to switch that to yes. Hit green to confirm and hit green again. IPX SPX really isn't used by most folks anymore. Uh, you can go ahead and leave it on off. DCC LC, we want to leave it on all for most applications. TCP IP is on. This is the primary configuration for everything, so leave it on on. If it's off, switch it to on. eTalk is an Apple deal. If you're not using Apple's, leave it off. And uh, configure TCP IP. We want to switch this to yes. Up one, switches it to yes. Green confirms. Green again advances you. Boot P. Boot P is a, a nice operation that's going to automatically uh, talk to your router and set an IP address for you. Uh, it's much easier to set a static address, so we're going to go ahead and say no on that. And we're going to go with bytes. Bytes happen in four sec sections. The standard uh, lineology is 192.168.1. something. Typically your router is one and every computer beyond it is something else. So we're going to leave this at 192. We're going to leave it at 168. One and the final character. If you need to change any of these things, we're going to go back. We're going to go back to this one one. If you want to change it, you'd use the up or down buttons to uh, to swap it around. If you hold down the button, it will advance in bricks of ten to where you want it. Once you have it to where you want it, hit the star button to confirm, uh, and it'll be locked. If you don't confirm it, it will go by default back to uh, where it was. Um, go ahead and advance and get to your final block, the fourth block. Right now this one is set to 192.168.1.26. Uh, say I wanted to change it to 1.50. We go on up here to 56, bring it down to 50, and confirm. There we go. That's going to take you through your four IP blocks. The next thing it's going to ask you for is your subnet, SM byte. Subnet is typically 255.255.255.0. Uh, this is for differentiating networks. Uh, a typical home network and many business networks are, are set to the default. So a safe assumption is always 255.255.255.0. Uh, if it's set to anything else, follow the same procedure on block 1, block 2, block 3, and block 4. It's going to ask you for gateways. Um, honestly, if you're working on a, uh, a local network, you do not need to set your gateway. You can leave it at whatever the heck it's configured at. Zero is the default. Uh, here's a secondary. You, again, you're, you don't need to work on this. You don't need to worry about it at all. Uh, if you want to set it, you can find out from your system admin what your gateways are. Timeout defaults to 90. Go ahead and leave it at 90, and that'll take you back to your settings. Uh, if you back on out, you bring yourself back to the ready state and uh, it should automatically pick up your IP address. To confirm it, again, you can go in to Configure Device, I.O., E.I.O., whatever your E.I.O. reading is, Configure Network, yes, and advance your way through again to where Configure TCP IP, yes, and take yourself all the way through. In this case, I want mine to stay on 26, so I'm going to bring it back because shorty is number 26. Marking your printers is always a great idea. And I'm going to back out of this by hitting cancel over here. Oh, no, i got to take it to 26. My gateway is 255.255.255.0. Take it all the way through to the rest of this gateway stuff we don't need. And back it out. And to make sure your systems take, a good thing to do is go to the information menu, print your configuration page, 
configuration is two pages. The first one is the machine configuration. The second one will be your network configuration. As this comes out of our super shorty speedy machine, you will see that the IP has indeed been set 192.168.1.26. That's on the left hand column, about halfway down. And my gateway is 255.255.255.0. One number off here will totally mess you up, so uh, make sure that's correct. If you got something wrong, go ahead and uh, reconfigure it. Re reconfigure it. Uh, to be what you want it to. From here, you should be on your network as to where you want to be. It's just a matter of telling your uh, computer where your uh, printer is. Um, look for another video on that, uh, but that should take you to having your computer on the network with the, IP, the desired IP address. Thank you very much from Advantage Laser Products.